Today I'm going to show you how to stop pulling your irons and more importantly how to start hitting that golf ball nice and straight. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. We're getting right into this because most golfers slice it, but I'm getting a lot of questions out there and a lot of comments from you. I love hearing from you. Thank you for doing that. And you're saying, Todd, I don't slice it anymore. I'm actually hitting a pull shot. So what is a pull shot? Well, a pull shot is when the, I'm a right-handed golfer, is when the ball starts left and just stays left. Now, if it actually starts left and actually turns left, we would call that a hook, all right? But a pull, a general pull is a ball that starts left and just kind of stays there. It doesn't really move a whole lot. Now, what causes that? Well, I've got actually, I've got my live view set up here today. This is, this is a great, device here and I've got, it's got this new feature it's in the, what we call the dual camera mode so you'll notice I've got a camera right here the live view right in front of me on the what we call the caddy view and I've got my phone set up down the line now the beauty of this here is that it gives me actual live, live feedback on what I'm doing not only down the line but also face on so we're going to talk about that and how it can help us here but first of all the ball starts based on the club face so if you're hitting pull shots at the moment of impact, the club face has got to be a little bit shut, okay? So, if I'm set up right here, right? At impact, if I'm hitting a pull, a true pull, that club face is probably a little bit shut. Now, the question becomes, when is that happening? Well, here's the first place you're going to look. The first place you're going to look, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the transition in a second, because that's the real magic, I think, of where most of you are pulling it. But the first one is that club face. So, when you take it back, Notice I've got the yellow line right here. The first place I'm going to look for is the takeaway. Is the student taking the club face and shutting it down or closing it? Look something like that. See that? You can see it right there in the live view. Look how the face, the club face, is pointed more to the ground. Now if I do that, I'm not going to hit this very hard because I don't want to ricochet it off the wall, but if I take that and I shut it really down, that ball is going to start dead left. You know that. So the first place you want to look for is a takeaway. Now a good reference point is that the leading edge right here, the leading edge right here, at about, eh, see when your hands are about waist high, this leading edge, this is why I love live view, because I can see exactly, my students can see what they're doing. That leading edge, see that right there? It's about a 45 degree angle, it kind of matches the angle of my spine right there, right? If I'm pulling it, it might be this way. If you're slicing it, you've watched probably some of my videos on slicing, might be rotating a little bit open. So that's the first place you're going to look is in the takeaway. Now the second place you might look, and this isn't very common, isn't very common that I see this, that somebody has it perfect on the takeaway and then gets it off, but the second part would be at the top, okay? And that would be if they get the club face really closed and really shut, where their, where their wrist is really kind of bowed. And quite honestly, there's a lot of people teaching this right now. I wouldn't say it's a bad thing, but it can cause the club face to get a little bit too shut and can cause some of those pulls. So those are the first two places that I'm going to look. Now, this is where I think the magic really happens. or This is where most of you are pulling it, especially if it's like even like you're pulling your driver and stuff like that. And if you haven't already, hey, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, all right, and leave a comment or a question. That's why I'm doing this video today is because a lot of you are asking about, hey, Todd, I'm not slicing anymore. I'm hitting the pull shots. All right, so put those comments, leave them in there because we're going to go ahead and use those for future content. Now, the other part is in the transition. So that's why I put the red line up there. Okay, so we talked about the takeaway. We've described, first of all, what a pull is. Talked about the takeaway, right, about 45 degrees, then we talked about the top. But I think where most of you are probably running into problems is in that transition. So I'm set up here. See, I've got the red line off my lead hip. In the transition, all right, a lot of you are taking your lead hip and you're backing it away from that red line. See that? You see where I went? Boom. Now when I do that, what happens is that throws the club out and for a lot of you can actually shut the face. It looks like this. Let me demonstrate. Here we go. I'm going to do it in slow motion. Take it up, back. Now, see where, how I finished? See how my hip was back away from that red line and my weight's on my back foot. So if you're hitting poles with your irons, that could be where that's coming from. So what's the fix? Let's tie this together. What's the fix? Well, here's what the fix is. That's why I love my live view, <laughs> all right? Because it's just, it's literally dual camera. It's like having two coaches at once, all right? So I'm gonna work on my takeaway. Like, all right, there's my angle, 45 degree. And then I'm just gonna go a little this way, see? 
See, I'm just bumping that. I'm just getting a feel for that. And I'm watching that in real time. Club face, 45 degrees, bump a little bit. Now I got a feel. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the shot. Okay, that felt solid. So a pull shot is probably caused by a closed club face. Take a look at your takeaway. Maybe the top, but more importantly, take a look at that transition. And if you get those couple things right, you'll no longer hit a pull shot.